What a beautiful day to play soccer in the garden. Hey, Groovy, try to score a goal. Haha, <laughs> you have to aim better. What's wrong, kids? The ball is across the street. Children, no! You can't run so close to the road. It's very dangerous. I know, Phoebe, we have to cross the road to pick up the ball, but we need to follow some road safety rules first. Pops, help me explain it. First, look for a crosswalk. White stripes painted on the road surface connecting one side of the road with the other. It's also called zebra crossing because the lines look like zebra stripes. Second, wait until the traffic light marks green for pedestrians. The traffic light is a luminous sign that indicates who has priority to pass. It has two parts, one for cars and one for pedestrians. You have to look for the one with puppets. Red means stop and green means go. So when the light is on, we can cross. Third, look both ways before crossing to be sure no cars are coming. Fourth, wait for the cars to stop completely. All right, ready to cross for the ball? Let's follow the rules of road safety. First, look for a crosswalk. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. No, Groovy, not yet. Second, we have to wait until the traffic light marks green for pedestrians. Green lights is on. Third step, look both sides to be sure no cars are coming. And lastly, wait for the cars to stop completely. Now we are ready to cross the road. Go for the ball! Mission accomplished. We have rescued the ball. Let's go home to continue with the game. We have to cross again. Remember what we've learned. What? The traffic light is broken. Now we can't cross. We need the cars to stop. What can we do, kids? Groovy, will you help us? What should Groovy transform into to cross the road? A baby bottle? A red stop sign? Or a spider? That's right, kids. Groovy should transform into a red stop sign to cross the road. Remember, red means stop. When cars see it, they're forced to stop. But always look both ways and never cross if cars are coming. Well done, kids. Let's keep playing. Hey, kids, what's Pop say? Oh, he's right. They've left the door open. Very good, Groovy. Avoid dangerous situations is the best road safety advice. Great. Phoebe, your ladybug costume is super cool. Ah, <laughs> Groovy, your cat noir one is awesome too. Wait, why is the park so dirty? People should use the litter bins. That's it. Phoebe, great idea. Superhero's mission, clean the park. Really good, kids. It's sad that people throw trash on the floor and the water. Let's do our bit. Each bottle we collect, 
it'll be a bottle less in the river. And then we recycle them. Hmm, a little more. Almost. Careful, Phoebe. No. Groovy, help her. Cristiano. Haha, <laughs> well done, Groovy. Now, children, you have to be more careful. Don't worry, I have an idea. Come, Groovy, let's take advantage of the fact that everyone believes you are Cristiano. Kids, listen. Cristiano Ronaldo's going to teach you not to throw rubbish on the ground. You must recycle. We can't throw rubbish on the ground, but deposit our rubbish in the corresponding containers. Will you help us to clean the park then? Beautiful. Thank you all, kids. Every country organizes recycling in a different way. Ask your parents how you should do it. And try it like it's a game. Very good, kids. It's a beautiful day to play at the beach. Look, that little girl wants to play too. Why don't you throw her the ball? The more we are, the more fun we'll have. Huh? She stole the ball. I can't believe it. She's not a girl. She's a mermaid. Phoebe, where did she go? We'll have to use the GPS. Groovy! Good morning, Mr. Seahorse. Have you seen a little mermaid with a ball? Hey, Mr. Swordfish. Haven't you seen a little mermaid by any chance? Miss Jellyfish, have you seen a mermaid swimming around here? No? Sharks! It would be better if you just run! I'm sure that if we try to talk to them, does someone speak shark? No? And whale? <laughs> nice try. But I think it didn't work. We are safe by the skin of my teeth, thanks to this friendly family of sharks and their three delightful fried rice. Friends, sharks, we are looking for the mermaid who took our ball. Do you know her? <laughs> they do. Let's follow them. This is an authentic Spanish galleon. It sank centuries ago. Maybe there's a... a treasure. Whoa! <laughs> Look, children, there she is, the little mermaid. And she keeps her own treasures. Yes, Phoebe, that's our ball. But she's not giving it back to us. For her, that ball is a treasure. What if she keeps it and gives us this luxury collars in return? Everyone happy. Although the best thing about having a ball 
is to play with your friends. Haha, <laughs> what an aquatic adventure we live today. And we've learned that what for one is not important at all, for others is a precious treasure. That's the way I like it, kids, to wash your teeth after every meal. With a little bit of toothpaste is enough. Be careful, Pops. You're going to create a magic portal. Groovy? Oh, a baby dinosaur. Hello, baby. Don't cry. Groovy, please transform yourself into something. Something that babies like. I do not know. A pacifier. Groovy, look at your steak, Groovy. You're full of dinosaur slime. What do you say, Pops? Yes, okay. Children, Pops is right. Our little friend has sneaked into the present through a magic portal. We have to travel back in time to find their parents. Is that all right, little dino? Pops, please open the magic portal. Ready for a time-traveling adventure? arrived. Welcome to the Jurassic. It turns out that before humans, the Earth was inhabited by these huge dinosaurs. What do you think? <laughs> Groovy, we need a vehicle to escape. No, Groovy, no. Something that goes faster. Run! They are T-Rex, the most dangerous dinosaurs! Good! We've given him the slip. We'd better find the parents of our little friend. This Jurassic is dangerous for a human. Two Martians and a voiceover. And now what? Oh no, another dinosaur is coming. Luckily, he has come to help us. It's a harmless Triceratops. Oh, it's your mom. What a happy coincidence. Well, kids, problem solved. He can come back to present. This must be his dad. Oh, poor, he has a Flemmigan. Of course, as at this time, they did not wash their teeth. It is normal that it hurts. Groovy, could you help him? <laughs> circles, circles, up and down, three times a day, and smile, smile, smile. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. Kids, not so fast. What are you forgetting? Right, you have to brush your teeth. Remember, to the dentist you won't go if you wash your teeth more. Phoebe loves her new dinosaur book. Groovy, do you know what dinosaurs are? Dinosaurs were animals that lived on Earth millions of years ago. Some of them were herbivores, and others were carnivores. But all of them were born from an egg. 
would you be able to guess what dinosaur the egg is from? Pops, do you want to play the guess which dinosaur is this egg from? Hmm, Pops, what are you up to? Pops has opened a portal. Where does it go? Pops, have you brought us to the era of dinosaurs? We are at the Jurassic. Wait, kids. This can be very dangerous. Phew. At least we have Groovy who can transform if we need it. This Brontosaurus seems very nice, though. Oh, those T-Rex, not that much. Kids, look. What's that? It's a dinosaur egg, like the one for the book. And it's in danger. Groovy, you have to do something. Kids, we must save the egg. Groovy, you can. It's there. Oh, oh, run! Kids, how do you think they can do it? Pops, I have an idea. A pterodactyl, that's right. Now you can save it and take it back to its nest. Well done, kids. They're like the ones in your book, Phoebe. Do you want to keep playing? Well, what kind of dinosaur will they be? Brontosaurus? No, Phoebe, they can't be Brontosaurus egg. Brontosaurus are huge to live on top of this little hill. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex? No, Groovy, they can't be from a T-Rex. T-Rex can't fly, and it would be too difficult for them to feed the babies. <laughs> That's it, Pops. It must be a dinosaur that can fly. Do you already know what dinosaur it is? Exactly! Pterodactyls! <laughs> oh, and they think that you are their mom. Oh, that's their real mom. She's very grateful. Good job, kids. Oh, wow. What a long day, kids. It's time to go to sleep. Good night. Aw, look how cute they are when they're sleeping. Something smells delicious. It looks like Groovy can't resist. No, Groovy, not yet. Wait until everyone's at the table. Why don't you go wake Phoebe up? Really? Nothing? Maybe you should try again, but in a more loving way. Come on, Phoebe, it's lunchtime. Broccoli is super healthy, Phoebe. You should try it. No, no, Groovy. That's Phoebe's plate. We know she's going to love it if she just gives it a chance. Right, kids? Oh, no. Phoebe's starving. Of course. She's weak because she hasn't eaten her vegetables. Wow, Groovy, that broccoli has made you super strong. Don't worry, Phoebe, there's always a solution. But how are we going to get back home? <laughs> yep. 
yummy. Remember kids, vegetables are healthy and tasty treats that give you all the energy you need to play non-stop. There's nothing better than a great breakfast to start the day. Right, Groovy? He has eaten his in Phoebe's. Time to go. Phoebe is so hooked on her new mystery book that in the end, she will be late to school. When you are in a hurry, the best is the tricycle. No traffic jam, no contamination, and you do some sport. Oh no, you got a flat tire and we are in a hurry. Who could have been? Good idea, Phoebe. This is a mystery for a super detective. Groovy, Phoebe needs a magnifying glass. Help her. This is a case for Phoebe Holmes and Dr. Groovy. Today, in the Flat Tire Mystery. What a hole! To find the guilty, the first to do is look for clues. What do we have here? Hmm, three clues. First one seems like a dog footprint. Second one, a human footprint. And third, a bird footprint. Where should we start? First one. There we go. Number one clue, dog's footprints. Careful, Phoebe. That mutt looks suspicious. Let's question him. Groovy, transform into a dog and take his bone. Mr. Dog, do you know something about the flat tire of this girl's tricycle? The dog is not guilty. He has an alibi. He is chained. Poor dog, he couldn't leave his garden. It's really late. Let's hurry up. First clue wasn't good. Let's continue with the second one. Second clue, human's footprint. Another false clue. These are Phoebe's footprints on her way from home. Third clue, bird's footprints. Mystery solved. It has been this woodpecker that has pierced the wheel with its beak. It's elemental, my dear Groovy. Let's go, kids. There's no time to lose. The mystery has been solved, but not the problem. We can't use the tricycle, and you have to arrive to school on time. Have you thought the same as me? By the skin of your teeth. Remember kids, if you want to arrive on time, you have to leave with time. You never know what can happen on the way. No clues are needed to know that this mischief has been Phoebe's idea. Elemental, my dear children.
Good morning, kids. I brought you here to learn the colors all together. Phoebe, let's go over what you have learned at school. Groovy, pay attention. We have six paint buckets of different colors. Red, orange, yellow, green. <laughs> exactly, Groovy. You are green and yellow, too. Blue and pink. We also have six drawings of animals. Fox, frog, chicken, ladybug, flamingo, and shark, like baby shark. Animals are so cool. Do you know the color of each animal? Groovy, transform into a brush and help Phoebe paint the drawings with the right color. Hmm, red. Which of these animals are red? <laughs> exactly. The ladybug is red. Groovy, now orange. Hmm, what will it be? Yes, very good, Phoebe. The fox is orange. Yellow. Groovy, you try now. Which animal is yellow? No, no, Groovy. Flamingos aren't yellow. Kids, help him. <laughs> That's it. Chicks are yellow. It's Green's turn. <laughs> yes, Groovy, you are green. What other animal is also green? Yes, the frog. Blue. Like a baby shark, yes. There's only one color left. Which color is the flamingo? Exactly, pink. Very good, Groovy. Hmm. I think you know all the colors perfectly. Do you want to try with the fruits? Groovy, you now all by yourself. <laughs> with a little help, it's okay too. We have tangerine, strawberry, banana, blueberries, Bataya and kiwi. What color is the tangerine? Exactly, tangerines are orange. And the strawberries? Haha, <laughs> very good, they're red. And the banana? Yellow, that's right. And little blueberries? Haha, <laughs> blue. What a team! There's only one left. The Pattaya. Very good, kids. Pink. Great, kids. Last time. Red, like a ladybug or a strawberry. Orange, like the beautiful fox or the delicious tangerine. Yellow, like chicks or bananas. Green, like a frog or the inside of a kiwi. Sure, and broccoli. Blue, like the baby shark or the blueberries. And pink, like the flamingo or the pataya. <laughs> and like pops. Yeah. Learning is so fun.
time to eat your peas. Yes, 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 I want to eat my peas. Good, good, the peas are good for you. Yay, 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 I love them. Woo! See, see, Daddy likes them too. One, two, three, he ate them up. You see, ha ha ha, the peas are all gone now. Yum yum yum, we like them. Wow! Carrots, carrots, it's time to eat your carrots. Yes, 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 I want to eat the carrots. Good, good, the carrots are good for you.
open your mouth <laughs> Johnny, Johnny Yes, Papa Eating sugar No, Papa Telling lies No, Papa Open your mouth Johnny, yes, Papa. Eating sugar, no, Papa. Telling lies, no, Papa. Open your mouth. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you trying to say something? Oh, yes. Subscribe, kids. Groovy the Martian. Official channel.